All right, guys, finna pull up on the first fish of the day. Let's see if he sees it. Sniper's in the water. Yep, he sees it, guys. See if he'll, he'll take a jab at it. Immediately touched it, guys. Immediately grabbed it. Solid fish. Good fish. Mm. Pull him. Come here, buddy. Yeah, do your flip. Flip right up into the kaleidoscope. Good fish, guys. Good solid first fish of the day. Didn't take us long, guys. Immediately came in the area. Guys, look at this. Straight choked it, guys. Straight choked it. All right, so, you know, we simply um, pulled up on that fish. Uh, been on the water for about four minutes. All right, uh, so today, gonna be a good day, guys. And things is out here. Um, setup that I'm using today, all right, is a, uh, Bobby Garland Baby Shad, keeping it nice and simple. 64th ounce jig head. Um, got a, you know, a split shot on top just to bring it down, but um, let's catch another one. Hey, look, today, guys, <laughs> we're using a sniper rifle and we're going hunting, okay? We got the sniper rifle on deck, all right? Hey, the sniper rifle we're using today, guys, is a 10 foot Mighty Light Crappy Max. Get it from Bass Pro, uh, real lethal rod, okay? Uh, combined with a Diamond Series Premium B&M Pole 14 foot rod, okay? Hey, keeping it real simple today, using a Bobby Garland and a 164th ounce jig head, okay? Hey, today guys, we doing open water crappy fishing, all right? I'm gonna show y'all some techniques that I use um, from a kayak, okay, uh, to be able to put more slabs in your boat. Um, this style of fishing to me is like hunting, okay? You are literally taking your rifle, you're taking your pole, okay? And you are sniping, or should I say targeting specific fish that you see within the water column on live scope, okay? This technique really hones in on the skills that's needed to really understand your unit. A lot of people, you know, they get live scope, they spend all this good money, and then they complain that they don't understand it. Well, this is a technique where it forces you to understand what you're looking at. It forces you to understand what type of fish is a crappy, how it swims, how it moves, where its head is at, where its tail is at. If you know he's gonna actually bite your bait or not, okay? Um, this actually teaches you, in my opinion, how to really know how to drop your bait down and to practice your presentation, okay? Hey, so I'm gonna stop all the talk. We're gonna get to these slabs, have a dump party. Stay tuned. for grab so we'll see which one thumps it first not a bad fish at all though two good fish mm. guaranteed to hit guys when there's two
guaranteed to hit. Good fish. Not a bad fish at all, guys. Not a bad fish at all. Like I said, they was both sitting down there. And I seen one come off the bottom. And uh, he was coming up as I dropped it. So I was like, I figured one of them was going to hit. I knew guaranteed one of them was going to hit. I just didn't know which one. So I dropped it kind of like just in the middle of them. Uh, not a bad fish at all, though. Good eater fish. Good eater fish, guys. Good eater. All right, guys, you see a solid fish like 15 feet up. I'm finna drop up on him. <laughs> All right, guys, snap your rifles in the water. Let's see if he'll see it. Oh, you see it. Go ahead and dump it. Solid fish, guys. Immediately grabbed it. Immediately grabbed it, guys. Good fish. Good fish, guys. Real good fish. Good fish, guys. So we simply just pulled up on that fish, all right? Um, you know, a lot of people, they, um, you know, they like a real clear black screen. Um, I like it raw, all right? I like it dirty. Um, you know, I run everything off from, you know, I run TVG off, I run ghost reject, noise reject, all on off. Okay, I run my gain hot and I run my color gain hot. Um, I like having that clutter. Sometimes it can be a little um, distorted as far as like, you know, uh, the return that you're getting back. Um, but for me, I like being able to see... Um, you know, I just like to see that return back from from those fish. Um, I get a real bright return, uh, but again, it's all it's all what it's all user preference. Okay, he choked it, guys. Good fish, real solid fish, guys. Good eater. Okay, good eater fish. All right, let's catch another one. All right, guys, finna pull up on the fish, like 25 feet out. Good solid eater fish. Um, see if we can put that sniper rifle on him, guys. Oh, he sees it. Let's see if he'll dump. You're just staring at it, guys. Just like to keep my pole as still as I can. <laughs> I'm still looking at it. Came up and choked it. Came up and choked it. Just like that, guys. So what I like, what I like to do? Oh, he's fighting. 
what I like to do, guys, is, you know, I like to make sure that I keep my, my pole as still as possible. Because, uh, you know, these fish, they will literally just stare at that bait. Um, they'll literally stare at that bait for a hot second. Um, sometimes 30, 40, sometimes a whole minute. So, you know, when you're looking at <coughs> at the fish on live scope on your screen, and if it's, you know, tilted, if it's pointed up, if it's looking sideways, right, and he's staring at the bait don't don't jig up and down don't try to move that bait okay just keep it there keep it keep it still uh, sometimes they just want a still presentation so not a bad fish good eater size fish all right but he came up and he's, he's choked it came up and choked it guys all right, guys, so when you're on open water, right, what do you do when you get here? Simple. You use your live scope as a tool, just as it is, okay? So you just simply find your bait fish, okay? That's key. Now, your crappie are not going to be, you know, there's this misconception sometimes. People think, I found my bait fish, the crappie are underneath. No. All it simply means is the crappy are near, okay, in that vicinity. Now, that vicinity could be, you know, it could be 100 feet. It could be 70 feet, right? Those crappy are going to stick around that area, and they'll come back to those fish, all right? They know that those bait fish are there, though, so they'll stay around that area where they know they can come back to eat them. Um, so all you do is you simply pan left and right with your live scope and you just look for fish you look for what you can identify as a crappie okay and so again those characteristics that's what you're looking for you pan left and right you keep your range i say at least 50 feet okay 50 feet for me is a comfortable distance to be able to identify a crappie or a bass, or a catfish, or even a white bass, from a far enough distance so that way I don't have to go, you know, ride right up to that fish. There's no reason to waste time and waste, uh, you know, energy on going to a fish that I know is not a crappie. So I recommend you find a distance that's good for you as far as knowing your farthest capacity that you you can identify a crappie or a, whatever what other fish that you're fishing for, okay? And then from there, you simply circumvent that area, okay? Go out that perimeter. But you want, as soon as you find the depth of, I would say, at least two fish, then you generally know what areas um, to target as far as your body of water. So you can follow your maps, use avionics, you can use fish brain. Um, you know, that way you can follow those contour lines so that way you're staying within that depth. Or you can simply just use live scope um, and then just make sure you're within that depth. So my depth today is a comfortable 25 to 30 foot range, okay? That's where I'm catching most of my fish, all right? I'm not even going in anything other than this depth of water because I know for a fact based off of the pattern throughout the day is these fish are oriented to the deeper water. All right guys, we got a couple decent sized fish down here. I'm gonna drop a bone. Them. Immediately grabbed it. Good guy. Immediately choked it. Choked it, guys. Good fish. Real good fish. Real good fish, guys. Good fish. We've seen them two just down there, guys. 
just chilling. It has something for him. There's another one down there that I actually want to catch. So I'm gonna hurry up and catch him. Good size fish though, solid fish. Choked it guys. Good god he choked it. Good size fish guys. Real good fish. All right, guys, good fish, kind of underneath us, actually. Might have to turn around on it, but I'll try to drop it on it now. Oh, he sees it. Let's see if he'll thump it. Choked it. Choked it, guys. Good fish. Real good fish. Oh, he running. Get your butt. He's gonna get your butt. Up in this kaleidoscope. Yeah, I'll let you run, buddy. Good God. Good God. No, you tired, buddy. Good fish, guys. Real solid fish. Real solid fish, guys. So we simply just found him open water, okay? Um, you know, he just dumped it. Plain and simple. Uh, he was running, though. We had a runner. Good quality fish, guys. Real good fish, real good eater. Good eater fish, guys. All right, guys, so, you know, today was a success, okay? We found fish, uh, we fished open water, and we utilized our electronics as a tool to help us have a thumb party, okay? Um, so, just to recap, okay? So when you're open water fishing, okay? You want to find your bait fish. You want to know your temperature of your water. Okay, that's going to drive your decision making on where you're going to locate these fish at. Um, and primarily what I refer to is the depth. Okay, so first step, find your bait fish. Know what depth of water you want to fish in. And then simply use your, use your live scope to pan left and right. Okay, you are literally panning. Remember what forward, <clears throat> what forward depth you want it at. Okay, so a good rule or a good number, I should say, anywhere from 50 to 70 feet. From there, you should be able to practice, right? More time on your unit, you're practicing, you're learning what these fish like, fish look like at farther distances. Okay, to get better at that, I recommend keeping your depth at 50 when you drop down on your fish, okay? Um, and the reason why I say that is because, you know, once you get up to that fish within your comfortable drop zone, okay, um, you know, that could be 10, 15, 25 feet, whatever it may be, that's going to make you look at that fish. Yes, it's going to be a closer picture, but it's not going to be a zoomed in um, version of it okay and it's good to have it zoomed in of course um, but again this is just a technique to learn how to understand what fish you're looking at at farther distances so that way 
You're not wasting time going up to a fish that's not a crappie. If you don't know how to identify a crappie, drop on every fish, okay? Literally, until you learn what a crappie looks like. Until you learn, you know, what, what a bass looks like. When you learn how that fish moves throughout the water column, how it looks on your sonar, then you'll get faster at being able to identify the fish, dropping on it, and putting more slabs in your boat, okay? Hey, so I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, I'm going to continue to do, you know, open water techniques. Um, again, this is my primary technique. I love it. Um, but it depends on your body of water, okay? So, and what I mean by that is we're in the summer pattern or early summer pattern, I should say. And some lakes, you may have your crappy, you know, oriented to to brush, to standing timber, okay? Um, so understand your lake and then utilize this technique to help you out, okay? This technique, it does take a while to get a limit, okay? Um, there'll be some days where you don't get a limit and there'll be some days where you do um, because understand you are literally sniping with a sniper rifle, okay? What I mean is, is using your pole as a rifle and you're literally targeting a specific fish, right? And, you know, these fish are really not schooled up as much when you open water fish in the summertime pattern. Now, wintertime is a different story, okay? Um, but primarily, you will get a bigger fish, okay? Uh, it, it's more of a, I, I say, it definitely makes the fishing more fun, um, and it turns it really into a hunt. So, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Again, stay blessed, and you already know I got more for y'all.